Hello my charmed ones, and welcome back to my channel for another video. I'm always asked about where I get the cute coffee mugs and tumblers you see in some of my Instagram pictures. So today I thought I would do a whole collection video for you on the topic. Get ready because I'm going to share a lot in this video, not just the cups and tumblers, but also how I store them, and at the end I'm going to share some easy DIY coffee art to give you some ideas to bring a bit of charm to your daily coffee or tea habit. I'll be sure to leave you links down in the description box for where you can find these and similar cute mugs online if you're interested in one for yourself or for a gift. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat. Let's get started. First, let's talk storage. I keep all of my beautiful Starbucks cups and coffee mugs in this large corner cabinet in my kitchen. I love that it has a large glass window so I can see all my mugs. It almost acts as a display case. Although we use the top shelf for stemware, which I can't reach anyway because I'm too short, I use the lower two shelves for my mugs. I keep the taller Starbucks travel tumblers on the higher shelf and shorter cups and mugs on the lower shelf. Although my collection is large, it doesn't take up the full space in the cabinet, which is great because my collection has room to grow. So to mask this, I always pull my cups to the front and face them outward so you can admire the design and the cabinet looks fuller. Now onto the cups. The first cup is my absolute favorite. This one is a beautiful striped and bow tie design from Starbucks and their collaboration with Alice and Olivia. It has this really beautiful stripe design, which I love, and it even has a removable tutu to kind of give it like a very dressed up feel. This one is no longer available. It was from a few years ago, but I've seen others that I can link for you down in the description that are similar. This next one is my other Alice and Olivia Starbucks mug, and it is the Stace Face that is named after the Alice and Olivia designer Stacy Bendet, I think is her name. Um, it has a beautiful face design with sunglasses in the front, red lips, and stripes on the back. Again, it's discontinued, but I've seen similar ones before as well. Okay, so this one is definitely one of my favorites from Starbucks. It is a matte black a design and the logo is black and the body of the cup is black and it also has beautiful studding down the side. I just think this is so edgy and so me because I absolutely love matte black. Next is a new addition to my collection. This is actually a new design part of Starbucks winter 2016 collection and it looks like a sweater. I love this beautiful cable knit design and I will link it down below for you guys. This next cup from Starbucks, I'm not sure what the name is, but I got it as a gift from one of my good friends. She said that it reminded her of me uh, looking at the compact and the top was teal, which of course I absolutely loved. Okay, another great classic cup from Starbucks. This is another discontinued design, but you can see it is this beautiful ivory quilted pattern that I just adore. And here is another popular design from Starbucks. It was the sketched out heart design. I know that a lot of people have this mug as well, and it is absolutely beautiful. Just a beautiful classic design. Okay, my next cup is actually a travel tumbler from Starbucks. Again, it's got that matte black and it's quilted, which I absolutely love. It's also sadly discontinued, I believe. And this must be one of the OG Starbucks cups in my collection. I probably have had this since college, but it's an oldie but a goodie travel mug. This next one is from the Trendy Sparrow. Lindsay is a friend of mine and she sent me this mug. It says she drinks more coffee than a Gilmore. I absolutely love it because I am a Gilmore Girls fan. So if you like this, I will link it below if Lindsay still has it available. 
Next is one of my own design. This is Be an Empress, Build Your Empire. You can purchase this from my online merchandise shop if you're interested. Okay, on to the mugs. This first mug was a souvenir I brought back from a recent trip to Bermuda. It is very thick and substantial and it says, good morning Bermuda on it, which I absolutely adore. This is another older cup in my collection. It actually comes from Ikea and it has this illustrated sort of pastel tea party theme on the outside, very inexpensive. This next mug is was a gift from a good friend of mine. It says, you've got this on it, which I absolutely love. She got it from Chapters Indigo in Canada, and she gave it to me because it reminded her of my ebook, You've Got This, so of course I love it. Next is a Girl Boss polka dot mug that my mom picked up for me from Home Goods. Um, I'm sure you guys can find these on and off at Home Goods. I'll try to find something similar for you guys and link it down below, but very cute, very classic, sort of girl boss inspired mug. Next is a, another one from Lindsay at The Trendy Sparrow. It is the Shri She Drinks More Coffee Than Gilmore mug. And of course I have it in the travel mug and the actual coffee mug. Another older mug in my collection, I believe this came from Target. It was an initial collection. Obviously my first name is Alexis, starts with an A. I really like the black and white simplicity of it. And this was another gift from my friend Claire online. She has an online shop that I will link down below. This mug I do not believe is from her shop, but it is a beautiful black and white striped mug that I absolutely adore. And another one from the Trendy Sparrow that says building my empire. Obviously, I absolutely love this one as well. Um, obviously, it inspires me to do my empire building on a daily basis. This next beautiful black and white striped mug with a gold heart that says love was very affordable. It came from Michael's earlier this year. Another one of my designs, my Be an Empress, Build Your Empire mug. If you guys are interested, I'll link you to my merchandise shop. And another gift from another dear friend of mine. This one is from Target, another initial collection. I love the nautical blue and white with the A. And one final cup, this one was also from Michaels earlier this year, just a beautiful Paris Parisian inspired design, very affordable. Okay, now it's DIY coffee art time. I'm a great admirer of coffee foam art, but I'm no barista. So here are some ideas for how you can turn your daily cup of coffee, tea, or cocoa into a delicious work of art. This summer, I bought an espresso machine to make coffee beverages, and I bought an additional arrochino machine that froths your milk. I just add the cream or milk of my choice, and I turn it on, and when it's done frothing, I pour it into my mug. The trick to pouring frothed milk is distance from the cup. Pouring from a higher distance means the milk moves quicker and settles to the bottom of your cup. And then pouring closer brings the froth to the top. I start pouring the milk from a higher distance and then gradually come closer so I get most of the milk in the body of the cup and then some foam on the top. Then I like to sprinkle the top with cinnamon or cocoa and this creates a simple but still lovely coffee art look. If you don't have an Arrochino machine to froth your milk, no worries because this next DIY coffee art will work for you too. Once I have my coffee made, I like to top it with whipped cream for a faux foam look and then sprinkle on a topping. Sprinkles or even chocolate or caramel sauce work really great as toppings. And if you're gonna use caramel sauce, I would also highly suggest using some coarse sea salt and having a salted caramel topping. Okay, and now we come to the piece de resistance. 
Sometimes I really like to up my coffee or cocoa art and make it a little bit of a festive scene. So I'll top my coffee or cocoa in this example that I've got in my beautiful Starbucks mug with a big spiral of whipped cream. I'll then add a marshmallow or two. These are festive snowman peat marshmallows. I'll also add a peppermint stick on the side. A little mini one works really well. I'll also, of course, use one of my favorite paper straws to make sure you can drink your beverage. And I'll top it off with some sort of topping like crumbled peppermint. And this creates a beautiful winter wonderland scene on the top of your cup. Now I realize this isn't for every day, but darn if it doesn't look festive and delicious. I make these for myself as a treat or for guests, and this is a simple, beautiful presentation that I know kids love as well for their cocoa. You can buy a variety of different marshmallows or make them yourself. I'll link you to a video that I have on how to make festive candy covered marshmallows. And of course, choose the sprinkles or toppings of your choice. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know which was your favorite mug or coffee art idea down in the comments. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye